What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm bringing you an awesome recipe I found for high protein, low carbohydrate brownies. Now, if you're currently cutting, currently dieting, whatever your goal is, even if you're bulking, you can enjoy these and not have all the guilt of eating a real brownie or a cookie or something along those lines. So if you guys are ready to see what this recipe is all about, then so am I. Let's do it! All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do, just to make this whole process simpler, preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and boom, there we go. Now, there's more ingredients here than normal. I'm not gonna go over the quantities right now. I'm just gonna show you what I got, and then as we get everything prepared, I will go over the exact quantities. So, you're gonna need yourself some regular oatmeal, but I'm gonna opt for maple and brown sugar instant packets. I'm gonna use one packet in this recipe. You're gonna need yourself some whey protein powder. I'm using BPI vanilla. You're gonna need some coconut oil. I got myself Better Body Organic. You're gonna need some unsweetened applesauce. You're also gonna need a can of black beans. Now don't let this freak you out, guys. I've actually had these brownies before and you cannot even taste the black beans. I'm telling you, <laughs> hopefully, don't click away. I'm telling you, bear with me. I promise you, we're gonna do a taste test and you will see that these are great with black beans. Plus, black beans are good anyway. So I don't know what you're worried about, Tabitha. <laughs> All right, you're gonna need a little bit of salt. You're gonna need some baking powder, vanilla extract, a sweetener of your choice. I always prefer stevia. Myself, it's not too overpowering. Zero calorie, you know, the good stuff. And then you're also gonna need yourself some chocolate syrup. I'm using Hershey's light chocolate syrup. If you have sugar-free available, go ahead and use it. But if not, this will work perfectly. And then you're also gonna need some eggs. So. This is the ingredient list. And then also you're gonna need yourself a blender or a food processor. I'm using a food processor because I don't even have a blender anymore, but this is what we're gonna mix everything up with to make our batter. So let's get started. All right, guys, I went ahead. I got myself a food scale here. This is gonna be for weighing out the ingredients that do need weight. I'm gonna sit it down here. Now you can't eyeball these ingredients, but since I'm tracking macros, I'm gonna give you guys an overall picture of what the calories and macros look like for this entire recipe. Then I'm gonna go ahead and weigh everything out just to be 100% on point. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bowl of our food processor and sit it here. That way I can mix all the ingredients in it on top of my food scale. Now, it doesn't really matter what order you put these in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start throwing ingredients in. So first thing, I'm gonna put my packet of instant oatmeal in here, maple and brown sugar, lower sugar option. I'm telling you, this is gonna add, and you know, you can use plain oats, but I like the flavor that this gives without any extra calories or a whole lot of sugar. So give this oatmeal a try, even without this recipe. It's good stuff. Next thing I'm gonna do, it's about 112 grams here, but four ounces of unsweetened applesauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this into the mix as well. Open you up and pour you in. Get in there, get in there. <laughs> Some of these ingredients like to fight you. Okay, next up, we got our three eggs. I can't think of a better way to do it than this. I'm on camera, so oh well, we're just gonna crack them and add like this. And two, and three, boom. Got him. Now I'm gonna do my quarter cup of sweetener. So I'm gonna get down in here in my bag. Like I said, I'm using stevia, guys. Get in here, get about a quarter cup. All right, looks good to me. Add it into our little mix. Now, next thing we're gonna need is the two scoops of whey protein powder. I'm using vanilla, right? A, obviously a chocolate will probably work better, but this is all I have. And really, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference, but it's worth saying that if you have the option for chocolate, use chocolate, but really about anything is gonna work. So. Two scoops in here, perfect. Now we're gonna need our coconut oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my container here. I need about 30 grams. This is where the scale is gonna come into play at. For me, you can eyeball it, because it's about roughly two tablespoons. But um, you know, I'm weighing it out for you guys, right? The sacrifices I make, I swear. Okay, we got this. Go ahead and add you in. Bingo, 19 and 24 and 26, 31. That's gonna work for me. Now we're gonna need a dash of vanilla extract. This is what I'm using here. Just gonna go ahead and open it up, put a little splash in here. It's gonna help with some of the flavor. Ah, if I can get this lid open. All right, just a little dash. Whoop, yeah, that'll work. And then we need a pinch of salt. So in lieu of a salt shaker that I don't own, I'm just gonna take this big old guy and do what I like to consider a pinch. So flip you upside down and bingo, pinch of salt. And you need about a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna open my baking powder here and uh, kind of eyeball it a little bit, just do a little bit of a boop. 
There we go. And now here's the part where everybody gets weird. We're gonna use, put our black beans in here. Now you wanna make sure you drain them first and foremost, but I'm telling you guys, you can't taste this. You're gonna find out when I do my taste test, but you really can't taste the black beans. So I'm gonna take my can opener here, open these up, and you wanna make sure you drain them first too. So let me open my black beans. You don't want all that extra fluid down in there. It might not bake, right? So, can's open. I'm gonna walk away, drain these, rinse them, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And really, when I go ahead and rinse them, what I do is I'll just like take the lid off of them, and I'll push the lid down in with my finger and let the water kind of run through it and dump it out. I don't go too crazy. Some people do. I don't. So we're gonna dump our can of black beans in here. There we go. And then the second time, that our food scale is gonna come into play here is gonna be for the light chocolate syrup. Now, we need roughly four tablespoons, so that's gonna equate about 68 grams. So I'm just gonna open this up here. There we go, had to take the uh, magic seal off of it. Open this up here, and like I said, we need 64 grams roughly, or 68. So we'll go ahead and go until we get it. Bingo, 66, hold up, little drop. 68, 69, 70. All right, 70 is gonna work for me. And now that we got all of our ingredients in the food processor, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. I mean, putting the lid on these things sometimes is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. There we go. Now, plug it in now. I didn't plug it in first, just in case this all like was already on and splashed up on me. That would have been terrible, but a good blooper, right? All right, plug you in, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend these up. And there we go, guys. Our brownie batter is complete. See, check that out, guys. Everything blended up nice, and we have ourselves a cool little batter there. Got myself a brownie tray here. I'm gonna go ahead, take some nonstick cooking spray, butter flavored, Kroger brand, because we value quality above all else. <laughs> all right, we're gonna hit the pan with it that way. This doesn't stick when we make it. There we go, that should do the trick. Now, we're gonna go ahead, take the batter, and we're going to pour it in our pan. Oh man, <laughs> that's doing something for me. How about you guys? <laughs> there we go. I wish I had a smaller pan because I feel like these are gonna be pretty thin, but oh well. Make sure we get it all in there. And then once you've poured your batter in your pan, go ahead and place it in the oven at 350 degrees. So we already preheated it. Open it up. Woo, <laughs> that flame blast out of there when you first open it. We're gonna grab it, slide it in here on the top rack. We'll turn it sideways to be safe. There we go, close it up. Now, you're gonna cook this for either 25 to 30 minutes, depending. Mine are pretty thin, so more than likely, we're gonna only need 25, but I recommend, no matter what, setting it for 25, then checking them at 25 to make sure they're good and not burnt. So, we're gonna wait on these to cook, and I'm probably gonna sample this batter, so we'll be right back. And then real quick, guys, you know I had to do it. I got the uh, food processor lid here. We're gonna take a spoon and try the batter out. Let's see. Ooh, there we go, let's see. Let, 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 let's, just, let's just make sure, you know what I mean? Mmm. Guys, these brownies are gonna be awesome. Oh man, let's get a little more. Mm. <laughs> For real though, they haven't even cooked yet. I'm telling you, you cannot taste the black beans. There is no black bean mm, about this. Man. All right, guys, I'm gonna, mm. <laughs> Don't be jealous. You're this far into the video, you already know what the ingredients you need are. Go get them. Make this yourself, guys. Don't hate on me because I'm enjoying myself. Hmm. <laughs> I will be back in a little bit. When these brownies are done, I'm gonna give you guys a good view of them, and then we're gonna do a taste test. I will see you guys in a little bit. There we go. Oh, reach in here. Ah, nice. All right, guys, check this out. This looks just like regular brownies, does it not? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into pieces. I have two options, pizza cutter or ice cream scoop. <laughs> I think pizza cutter. So I'm gonna get this ready and then I'll be back here in a second. And all right guys, in keeping with tradition, I just wanted to give you a good look at what these brownies looked like. Haven't tried them yet, at least this batch, so I'm not 100% sure how they're gonna be. I know they're gonna be good though, just from that batter, but I just like to give you guys, like I said, a clear look. So check that out. Everything was grinded good, so you don't really see any black beans or anything in it. They have a very nice brownie look to them. <laughs> a brownie look. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty. I think these are about to be delicious. So if you guys are ready for an epic taste test of monumental proportions, then so am I. Let's get to it. All right, guys. 
got my brownies here, they've cooled down a little bit, and it is time for a taste test. As you can see, I got my entire plate here. Now, this made about 10 brownies, at least 10 good sized brownies. Obviously, you can do what you need to do to make more or less, whatever your heart desires, but it made 10 brownies, so I got all the macros and everything listed, but that is, that is for after the <laughs> taste test. So let me grab, ooh, this one's thick. Look at this one. There we go. Check it out, guys. Does that not look like a brownie? Yep. Decadent, flaky, chocolatey, beautiful. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? You ready for it? All right, count me down. Oh yeah, doesn't really work like that, does it? Okay, I guess I'll do it myself. Three, two, one, go! Guys? Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, brownie down, and 100% honest, it totally gets the <laughs> Nate Whitlatch seal of approval, but it falls just shy of the double. Now, really, really good, guys, really. These are amazing. But the thing is like, you know, the peanut butter cookies, right? That I just made, the protein peanut butter cookies got the double because they were absolutely incredible. And they just, wasn't many ingredients that tasted just like peanut butter in a, in a peanut butter cookie. Like it was really good and still healthy. Whereas these are amazing, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't taste a hundred percent like what I think of when I think brownie. Still really good, but it's almost like its own unique thing. The black beans, you really don't taste, but in all honesty, it doesn't have that like sweetness of a brownie, but obviously a brownie's loaded with sugar and stuff, but this is definitely good. It definitely, I would make these again for certain, no matter what, but it doesn't get the double, which is reserved for only the best recipes, <laughs> only the best, but maybe I'm just peanut butter biased. Maybe that's what it is. So let's go ahead and see. Mm. I mean, these are really good, guys. Wow. Nice, nice, mm. for real. It is well deserving of the seal of approval. I can already see Troy being jealous from wherever he's at right now. I know he's watching. Don't be jealous, Troy. <laughs> okay, I gotta move the plate off to the side or else I'll keep eating them. So awesome recipe, guys. Really, you can't taste the black beans. Easy enough to make. 25 minutes was perfect and uh, yeah. Try it home, guys. Try it and then leave a comment and let me know what you think because I love it when I get comments from you guys saying you tried one of my recipes and you liked it. So anyways, awesome alternative to the brownie. Now, moving on to the macros. I uh, wrote them down. <laughs> so we have in the entire recipe, it is 1,357 calories. Keep in mind, this stuff will vary. You can obviously have the ingredients, double the ingredients and do whatever. So just, you know, do the math correctly and <laughs> do it according to whatever you're trying to accomplish with said brownie cooking time preparation with, with whatever you're trying to do, just figure it out. So 1,357 exactly for what I had. And then macros, you have 48 grams of fat, 97 grams of protein and 135 grams of carbohydrates with 24 grams of fiber. Now I split mine into 10 different brownies. So doing that math per brownie, we have 136 calories. We have five grams of fat, 10 grams of protein and 13 and a half grams of carbohydrates with two and a half grams of fiber per brownie. So really you get about a net 11 gram of carb per brownie, still 10 grams of protein and only five grams of fat. So really that is not bad at all guys. Compared to your regular brownie, which is probably 25 grams of sugar, 10 grams of fat, just, you know, lots of calories. So brownies are one of the most unhealthy foods possible. So I think it would be difficult to make a healthy brownie that still tasted the same, but these are in my book. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In my book, these are like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe video as always. Like I said, I like bringing these to you guys because diet does not have to be boring. It's not all chicken. It's not all rice. It's not all broccoli. You can have fun stuff like this that fits your macros, still eat it, enjoy yourself and get rid of some of your cravings. You know, if you're really craving a brownie, if you're really craving ice cream, there's an alternative out there. I promise that you can have. And a lot of times those cravings you get are simply your brain trying to trick you because it knows you can't have those things. And when you can't have something, it dominates your mind. So you can't have ice cream and turn your brain once it, once it, once it. But then once you have it and you have those first few bites, that craving kind of goes away and then you're left feeling eh. But if you can go ahead and avoid that temptation, create a healthy concoction that still fits your goals and gives you that feeling of cheating, 
then there you go, problem solved, and you're good to go. You didn't eat a whole pizza, you didn't eat a whole tub of ice cream, and you aren't mad at yourself. So I, uh, I used to be plagued by guilt from eating bad, right? Because I would go good for like five days and I would binge, and then I would feel terrible for a few days until I lost the weight, and it was an endless cycle. But with stuff like this, I can stay on point, stay on track, and overall, I'm way happier, way healthier, and smiling more. Cha-ching! <laughs> that was the whole like gleam off the tooth, but I, you know, whatever. Anyways, guys, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate all the support you guys give me. This has been an incredible last couple weeks as far as growth goes on my channel, so hoping to continue the trend. If you guys have any suggestions for recipes you'd like to see or anything, you just let me know in the comment box below. And until next time, guys, this has been a Remington James production, so don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I am out of here. This has been a Remington James production. I will see you guys at the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace. <laughs> see you guys.